reigning champions, Ghana, have been denied the chance to defend their African uh, Games women's football title after the criteria for qualification by the organizers ruled them out. The tournament schedule uh, released by the organizers of the competition on Wednesday features host Morocco, Nigeria, South Africa, Cameroon, Mali, Algeria, Equatorial Guinea and Zambia. The Black Queens, who won the uh, All-Africa Games title in Congo and Brazzaville in 2015, were hoping to successfully defend the title at this year's Games in Morocco in August, but new qualifying rules by the Confederation of African Football allowed only teams that played in the qualifying series and actually made it the 2018 Women's African Cup of Nations, apart from the host to play in the competition. Thus, as host of the 2018 Women's AFCON, Ghana are not eligible and their place taken uh, by the host of the African Games in Morocco. Well, on the phone now to speak on this issue is uh, sports journalist Rosalind Amola. Hello, Rosalind. Good afternoon to you. Hello, Rosalind. Good afternoon, Rosalind. Well, we, uh, we'll, uh, we'll uh, get back to the phone lines and speak to Rosalind Amu uh, later on uh, on, the, on, the, on the news bulletin. But let's just go, back, go over that story because reigning champions Ghana have been denied a chance to defend their African Games uh, women's football title after the criteria for qualification by organizers ruled them out. Now, the tournament schedule uh, released by the organizers of the competition on Wednesday features host Morocco, Nigeria, South Africa, Cameroon, Mali, Algeria, Equatorial Guinea and Zambia. Well, now let's get back on the phone lines there and speak to Rosalind Amo. Hello, good afternoon, Rosalind. Good afternoon. Um, now, Rosalind, first of all, what, what is your take on this issue of, uh, uh, you know, taking Ghana out of that competition that will be played at the All-Africa Games? Well, I think it's very unfortunate and it's very unfair on behalf, I mean, on the part of the configuration of Afghan football because we've always known the criteria for qualifying for the for such tournaments, there are qualifiers that are played. So if for any reason you want to limit the cost involved for participating countries, you find a more, a, a better way of getting the teams to qualify than the simple method they've used. For me, I think that, I mean, it's, it's not fair at all and it's, it's a, a great injustice done to especially the defending champions, Ghana. Well, now let's, let's look a bit ahead. What are our administrators doing about it? And do they really care about women's football you know, after this decision? I think you are asking the wrong person. I, I'm not, um, I don't speak for the administrators. Right. I, I haven't interacted with them yet. Mm -hmm. But for me, I think that when CAF brought out, this issue has been I mean, in the public domain since February. When CAF said that the um, team that played in the AFCON were going to participate in the um, All African Games and there was not going to be any qualifying round. For me, the first question that if uh, administrators were proactive, the first question they, would have, they should have asked was, so what happens? Because usually such tournaments are eight team um, tournaments, not nine. So if Ghana are the defending champions and Ghana hosted the Women's AFCON in 2018, and those teams that participated in the outcome minus Morocco were going to play in Rabat, then how was the format going to be like? But I think that we all went to sleep. Nobody took it serious. And unfortunately, we are paying the price. Once the draw has been released, it will be very difficult for us to, for them to do anything about it. Maybe they can protest. They can protest, but they can't do anything about it. I mean, unfortunately. All right, thank you very much, Rosalind, for speaking to us this afternoon.